Okay, so I got busy and it's been literally over a year since I started working on this. The only thing I've changed is I put the barrel head that my buddy Meadows Woodshop did for me up here. Um, but yeah, gonna get back to this and finally wrap it up. I'm gonna miter the trim in around the perimeter. I like to do that by starting with one miter on the board and then I measure in place and then cut it to fit. I'm wishing I hadn't taken a year to do this because I think it looks really good. Anyway, time to pull out all the tools I'm gonna put up here, lay them out, decide where they're gonna go and what kind of holders I'm gonna make for them. Okay, I'm pretty sure all this stuff is gonna fit. Just gotta figure out what kind of holders I wanna make for it. Um, a lot of decisions. I'm pretty sure how I want to do the saws, so I'm gonna start here and hopefully get inspired along the way. You probably noticed I did a little wood switcheroo. It's because I realized this piece I'd already cut that I marked. Um, there's no way to safely hold it while I router. So I went and marked and then routed off the big piece that it could clamp. So lesson learned, gonna do that moving forward. Now for this saw, my only problem is this is about the same width as the wood. Um, I could get wider wood, but whatever. Anyway, um, I've gotta figure out which way to bias this. So look in, the saw wants to tip towards the spine. So I know I need the material on the spine, not in front of the teeth. Simple enough. Future Caleb here, obviously this is already done, but want to tell you real quick, uh, this is going to kind of expire in its timeliness, but Chris Burden, A Glimpse Inside and I are in a reverse race to 100K. So I'm trying to get him there before he can rally his audience to get me there. And I trust you guys, I think you can help me do it. If we do it and we get him to 100K first, uh, out of my own money, I'm going to throw in a $100 gift card in my 100K giveaway, which is going to be huge. So watch out for that when it comes. And if you're not subscribed, uh, if you feel like I've earned it, please consider that. And that way you'll also find out about the giveaway when it comes up fairly soon. Also, Chris and I have been working on a joint venture together that's gonna be really exciting and change some things. We'll be talking about that in a few months, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, back to uh, working on this thing. For all my card scrapers, I'm just gonna cut some slots at an angle that I can not drop these in on a board. So what I've done is set up a miter saw at a bevel with the depth stop on the blade so it doesn't go all the way down. So it'll only make a partial depth cut and I'm gonna make a series here. This is my third miter saw and I think the first time in like the decade I've had miter saws that I've ever actually used the bevel feature, but glad I have it now. I wanna do a till for the hand plane, something that holds them up here at an angle. But I gotta glue up a panel of stuff and I don't wanna do that. So I was thinking about using some leather and doing some hoops or something, but I don't really like how secure that's gonna be. And I realized that in the time I've spent like debating and trying to find alternatives, I could have just made this stupid thing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I thought about using maple for the panel to be a contrasting wood, but and then walnut for some stripping, but then I realized the maple's probably gonna get um, scarred and marred and show it a lot quicker because it's lighter than the walnut. So I think we do a walnut back and then uh, maple strips to contrast. So anyway, 
start working on that now. about halfway through planing when I bought my clear view they had a bend sensor to tell you when it's full and like beep and flash like two three hundred bucks is like who would spend that kind of money on that thing that's stupid this is like the fifth time I've done this though so maybe it's not that stupid It would have been easier to just use my regular uh, Bessie clamps for this, but I haven't used my panel clamp yet. Uh, so I wanted to give it a try, I learned a little lesson. These pads are actually thicker than this material, so I probably need to get some spacer blocks whenever I use thin material on here, or just keep this for whenever I use stuff that's at least, you know, inch, inch and a quarter thick. Anyway, it's pretty cool, it's a lot of fun. Well, I got my panel gluing up, I'm gonna go ahead and get some finish on these other pieces using my old standard of uh, Amber Halcyon. Love this stuff. is up it's uh finally coming together because it's time to put the other stuff up oh and i made those little chisel racks but i remembered like a year ago um, when i started this i asked for something and rockler sent me several of these uh, magnetic strips so i might end up using these for the chisels instead or some other tools but this is definitely going to make things a lot easier glad i found these Getting there. One of the last things I want to put up there is my sharpening stone setup, um, but this is super heavy. I want to make a shelf to set it on, but it really needs a can at an angle to make sure nothing falls out, kind of like with the planes. Problem is then this is at an angle. So my plan is for the shelf, I've got a little lip that's going to turn into a trim piece, and this will act as a shim to raise it up when I go over the router to make a little track. I don't know if that makes sense, but once you see it, it should make sense. Only took a year, but it's finally done. I'm really happy. This is really inspiring to me. Uh, only thing that kind of bothers me is this blank space up here, but uh, I don't have to cover every inch of it. So really excited to use. Now this was obviously a custom solution that's gonna be hard to shuffle. Um, that may not be ideal for some people or just the time involved. Um, I recently put up a wall control wall for a lot of other things to get that organized and I really like that. So that's a solution you should also consider if this isn't the way for you to go. But if you're thinking about doing something like this, hopefully it give you some ideas about ways to hold tools. Anyway, I hope you learned something or inspired or at least entertained. And until next time, make time to make something.